This dishwasher has seen its better days. It no longer works, so today we're going to replace it. Because all of the hoses and pipes are already here, this should be a fairly simple do-it-yourself project. Before you install the dishwasher, the first thing to do is shut off the power at the circuit breaker and shut off the water under the sink. The next step is to remove the old dishwasher. In order to do that, we need to remove the drain hose right here under the sink. Now I'm removing the access panel, which is this bottom piece right here. This is held on by four screws. I've already removed three of the four. I'm taking the last one out. This is the tow panel, and this comes out. And now we need to disconnect the water feed, which is this copper pipe right down here. Use a wrench to loosen the fitting. This is going to take a couple of times because it's a tight fit under here. Once you have it loose, you should be able to loosen it the rest of the way with your fingers, and then it pulls right out. I just have to remove two screws, and we should be ready to pull this out. These screws are what holds the dishwasher in place. Now that this last screw is out, I'm going to close the door and make sure it's locked, and this should pull right out. Okay, the dishwasher is out and I've turned it on its side so that I can remove the electrical wires. Now again, make sure that you've turned the power off. Lots of dishwashers just plug right into the wall, but in this case, this one is hardwired in, so we do need to remove the wires. Use a screwdriver to take the cover box off, and then take the wire nuts off of your wires. There's also a ground wire, and that's this copper wire right here. To remove that, you need to loosen the screw with a screwdriver, and then it should just pull right off. And I can use my fingers to take the Romex connector apart so that the wires will pull right out. Before I begin the installation process, I'm going to make sure that there's not any leaks. Check where the old dishwasher was to make sure that the floor is not damp or there's not any rust spots. Then do the same thing under the sink. I have the dishwasher on its side so that I can get everything hooked up. I've already removed the access panel, which is just a matter of taking those four screws out. Now the tow panel. Now don't be surprised by all of these wires. This dishwasher has a lot more features than the other one, but the wires are already hooked up for you, so you don't have to do anything with them. But we do have to hook up the electrical wires. I'm using a nut driver to remove this cover plate. Now these wires just slip through so that they're on this side. And these are the wires coming from the wall. This is the Romex connector. This is the one that was already on here, but we're going to use it again. The Romex connector holds all of the wires in place while they're inside the metal box. We get this secure before we hook any of the wires up. The wires go together just the same way that we disconnected them. The black goes to the black. You secure it together with a wire nut. And the white goes to the white, and again, we're going to use a wire nut to twist the wires together. We're going to make sure that these wires are nice and secure. This copper wire is the ground wire, and this fits right over the green screw. I kind of want to hold this down and then tighten it with a screwdriver to hold it in place. Okay, I've put the cover box back on, just making sure that it's tight. Now we're going to put this 90 degree connector on so that we can make our water connection. This goes right here and this connects to our hot water line. To attach the water line, connect it to the 90 degree elbow. Once you have the fitting tightened with your fingers, then use a wrench to tighten it the rest of the way. Now it's time to connect the drain hose. All you have to do is thread it through the cabinets, then attach it to the disposal, secure it with a clamp, and then tighten the clamp down with a screwdriver. Now I'm ready to put the dishwasher in place. 
This is a Maytag dishwasher, and as you can see, it has insulation all around it. That's to make sure that the dishwasher is quiet. Okay, make sure that it's straight. And once you have it in, then open the door and check to make sure that it's level. And this one is great. If yours isn't, adjust the feet right here. You can raise it or lower it to make this level. I'm tightening down this last screw. Now I've already turned the water back on and I've turned the power back on at the circuit breaker. It's a good idea to do a test cycle right when you're finished while you still have all of the tools out. That way if there's something wrong, you can fix it right then. Also make sure that you feel the floor to make sure that there isn't any water leaks. It sounds like this is working perfectly. You notice how quiet it is? Because this was a fairly simple installation, it only took us a couple of hours. And by doing it ourselves, we saved up to $200.